everybody. Welcome. We're going to do a circle time today with Miss Jillian. Is everybody ready? All right. First, we're going to sing ABCs because I know that's everybody's favorite song, especially in my class. And I think that everybody enjoys it, even the, even the kindergartners. So we're going to sing. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Yay! Everybody sing along? Good job. So now we're gonna sing one more song and it's a song that all of you know it, probably. <laughs> um, and it's called Little Bumblebee, I think. My kids call it Bumblebee Song and it's a fun little song you can do with your hands. So everybody make a little bee and we're gonna catch our bee, ready? Catch! I'm bringing home a baby Bumblebee, won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! It stung me! I'm squishing up my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up a baby bumblebee. Ew, it's all over me. I'm washing off the baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm washing off the baby bumblebee. Look, all clean. Yay! Good singing, everybody. And now we are going to read a book called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. It's a very famous book, and I'm sure that all of you know it. All of you love it, so we're going to read it today. This is the big version. That's not the first page. There we go. Everybody can see? It says, in the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Everybody see the egg? There's a little white egg on this huge green leaf here. And there's the moon. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a very tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. He said, where's the food? I'm so hungry. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through one, two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four, four strawberries but he was still hungry He's very hungry on friday he ate through one two three four five five oranges but he was still hungry it's a lot of food to be hungry still on saturday he ate through one piece of chocolate cake one ice cream cone one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one watermelon. Let's see, how many pieces of food is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of food he ate. That night, he had a stomach ache. His tummy hurt a lot. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. 
and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Look at how beautiful he is, all these colors. And that's the end. Yay! After reading that, I want to teach you how to say hungry and eat in sign language. So hungry is a little hard. We're going to make this shape with our hand and do this. This is a C shape and it's hungry. I'm hungry. So the caterpillar was hungry, right? Very hungry. So he wanted to eat. So eat, you make a hand like this and pretend to eat. Nom, 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 nom. So if I'm hungry, I eat. Nom, 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 nom. Can we do that again? Say the caterpillar was hungry, hungry. So he ate lots of food. He ate strawberries. He ate oranges, he ate a cake, he ate a ice cream, he ate lots of food. So when you're hungry, you eat. I don't know why I always make that noise. That's a fun noise. Okay, so in the spirit of being a beautiful butterfly like this hungry caterpillar, like this beautiful butterfly, we're going to try our butterfly pose in yoga. So if everybody could follow me and just put your feet together like this in front of you with the bottoms of your feet completely together and you just sit like this. This is butterfly pose. And if you want to do it even harder for the older kids, if you want to try, you can even lean forward and touch your fingers to the floor in front of you. And this stretches your legs right here. And we can just lean forward. I don't know if this is a separate pose, but this is what I like to do because it makes me feel good. <laughs> and you can even move your legs like butterfly wings. And this stretches your legs too, because when you bring it up, it's a stretch. When you bring it down, when you push down, and that's a stretch. Oh, that's a really good stretch. So your butterfly, it's a butterfly pose. And next, after that, we're gonna, I have one in my head. We're gonna stand up and we're just gonna stretch way up tall like this. And if you put your hands together, it's proper, but I just don't wanna do that. <laughs> this is a mountain pose, I guess. It looks like a mountain with your peak and your fingers up here. And you just stretch as high as possible. Ugh. And then come down slowly and you can put your fingers on the ground like this. And downward dog, which is very famous. Most of you probably know it if you do yoga in your class. And then come down and do one more. And that's all for yoga and all for circle time. So I want to say goodbye, everybody. Have a good day. Mwah.